Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus. I apologize again for my voice. It is still not there 100%, but I wanted to share this quick video tip out there. I am seeing users post that their auto blade or their blade settings are not working properly when they are using the cut by line or the cut by fill color options. Um, most times when we troubleshoot that, we request photos. The photos are so important in order to identify this, but I wanted to put out a video for it because I'm seeing a lot more of this. Um, on the screen, I have set up a file. This is a design that I created and a class that I'm releasing. Once that class is out there in the next week, I will have a link in the description for you to purchase the class on how you can create these designs and other designs in Silhouette Studio. But I just quickly use this as an example. So on my screen, you'll notice I have my stickers that I'm going to be cutting out. And I have set this up as an example of what I see most of. So a person using stickers has created a cut line. So they want one line. The red line here is my kiss cut for my stickers. And then the next blue line here is going to be a cut through. So I'm die cutting the sticker sheet out of the entire sticker page. So I'm gonna end up with two pieces that are completely cut out with my stickers as a kiss cut. So that's how I've created this file. So here's the full file. You would do your print and cut, but what I am seeing is when I go over here to the send tab in the top right corner, users will say that their blades are not adjusting properly or their settings are not adjusting properly. The machine isn't working correctly. And that's not what I'm finding. What I'm finding is that users have so I have these set up here. My red is going to be my kiss cut, so I have sticker paper chosen. My blue needs to be changed to something that's going to cut through, so I'm just gonna change that to a cardstock. So the machine thinks it's going to be cut through. Now, what I'm seeing most of is that users have a color or a pattern in this case. This is a no fill pattern up here at the top even though that box is not checked, it's not going to cut, but users have that object selected and you can tell right here, this is very, very important. The object that is selected is going to show up right here on your send tab. If you change the settings for this no color, it's not going to work. You think you may be changing the settings for this cardstock textured, but in reality, you are actually changing the settings for something that's not even cutting. So you want to be very, very careful and make sure that you have the proper color selected. So I need to click on the blue in order for me to change the settings for the blue color. Now, the one thing I am noticing is that it is very difficult when you are on a Mac computer. I see this more with Mac users, but also I guess if you are on a Windows computer and you have your screen set to be a dark background, it is very difficult to see which one is selected by this gray selection box. So if I click here on this red color, you're gonna notice that it all turns to a darker color. It turns to a darker gray. However, on a dark screen on a Mac, or if you had that on your Windows, it's very difficult to see. So you need to make sure that when you are clicking on your color to change, that this color here that shows at the bottom of your screen is the same one you want to change those settings for. If this one is selected down here and I change those settings, it's not gonna work because and it's not the machine's fault. The machine is doing exactly what you have asked it to do, but the wrong color was selected when you changed those settings. So I'm seeing a lot more posts about this and you need to just pay attention when you're setting up that file to cut. Make sure the same color that you are changing, you want those settings to change for is the one that's selected. So I hope that tip helps and explains why some of your cut files may not have been cutting at the settings that you think that they should. 
If you have any questions, please share those in the comments below. There is an additional information in the description of this video below on a few things that we have covered on how to cut by line color and also the new class that is coming out. Have a great day. Thank you.